You know, the studies have documented the racial di digital divide in the country. And during the pandemic, this often prevented kids from continuing attending school online or taking advantage of telehealth or, or making a vaccine appointment. And uh, no, it's not only the result of digital redlining, but also the cost of service. That's too much for many households to pay. And uh, I just think we've got to address this. Um, so, Mr. Lewis, is there a risk that if we don't act to resolve these inequalities, we leave households and communities behind? That would be my first question. Absolutely, uh, Congressman. Uh, our policies uh, can help make up for uh, inequities in our society, uh, and or they can create inequities. Uh, in the past, uh, communications laws have fought uh, redlining, for example, uh, through franchise agreements or other obligations uh, at the FCC, uh, franchise agreements at the local level for cable, uh, to make sure that uh, telecommunications was, was built out to everyone. Uh, those were uh, begun to remove, be removed in the early 2000s, and, uh, and we never saw any replacement for them in the broadband space. So policymaking can make up for these inequities or lack of investment into specific communities. Thank you.